Oh, you have stopped that session. Uh, you can join them. Or make it part one or two. Hmm? We you don't know what we were doing. So folks, um, we have got the inert gas generator running. And uh, at the moment, uh, you can see the flow of gas has come. So now the salt water is coming from the system and going to our board. So now our scrubber is running. So what we simply need to do is to put the system on a standby. So it will do the rest of the things. What we need, we do not need an air supply. We need an IG in the system. So we are using the IG plant. Okay, and of course, what we are uh, now doing is to start this plant, take it outside. So now you see, you may have noticed our ventilation system has switched on. Because once we start the IG plant, we are not going to get the precise level of inner gas into the, our system. So we need to purge it out. Hmm? So what we are going to do is we are going to purge it out and when we have the right amount this wall venting valve will close and this will uh, be opening so let's start the ig plant at the moment our o2 content was 21 but now can you see the moment i have started the ig plant our o2 content has come down to minus sorry 1.49 and our dew point is 40.7, which is ideal. Mm? And we are supplying the IG at 26 degrees centigrade from here. But um, we are drying it here. And now, did you notice the moment we have got the right parameter set that is now going into our tanks? Of course. IG will take very long time go in the tanks. Hmm? It is a process which takes hours and hours and hours. Hmm? So obviously in the exercises we do not have that kind of facility to wait in front of the system uh, for 40 hours or 30 hours or 16 hours to see the results. Mm. So what we are now going to do is we are going to go on the portable gas detection system and let's check mm, the oxygen content at the bottom of number five tank. Okay, so <coughs> Let's purge the system. You will see the auto content has gone high. Mm -hmm. Sample on the bottom on and let's check the auto. The O2 has just started flowing into the tank. So at the moment, we are not getting the results. We will keep it running overnight and we will be able to see it tomorrow morning. What is the condition in our tanks uh, after a little while or after 15, 16 hours. So we let it run in this condition and let our tanks get inerted. Let's see the conditions of our cargo tanks. Mm. We can see the gas is coming at the bottom mm. and the inert gas is being purged out mm. uh, through the vent. 
this was number two tank you have to go and open all tanks purging points number one tank number three tank number four tank Can you see the pressure has increased here to 5.7 kPa? So the inert gas blowers are sending the inert gas here. Okay, folks. Can you see now the pressure has increased here? Now, did you notice in just few minutes time, the bottom of this tank has from 20.86 has come to 15.46% of oxygen. Let's go a little up to find it more. Fifteen point four six. Let's see what is happening on the top. Watch this. Let's check the top. Did you notice? Towards the bottom, it was 15. And on the top, it was 21. So it is clearly showing you uh, the difference. In the same tank, the heavier inert gas is sitting at the bottom. And the lighter air, dry air, is on the top. Folks, once we have done, the, the tanks will be done overnight, mm, about 16 hours, they will all be done. Mm. Their environment will change from oxygen to the inert environment. So first process we have done on these tanks is that we have dried the tank. We have, uh, we have taken out the moisture from it by just filling in the dry air and keep on uh, you know replacing it with the dry air and uh, taking the, all the moisture out mm -hmm. then now with the dry air we are replacing it with the uh, uh, clear <coughs> uh, inert gas now here you will be able to see on the top the oxygen level is 20.85 and dew point is um, 26.2. Mind that the carbon content is 0 0.04 at the moment. But the more inert gas you will put in, the carbon content may rise. Although we are uh, burning a very low sulfur gas fuel. So let's see the bottom again. Purging. 
in between every use. Now let's see the bottom again. But this time um, we'll see how much is the carbon there. Mm -hmm. Carbon is maintained. Let's see how much oxygen at the bottom. Very good. Just 10.17. Slowly and gradually it will go down to a lowest level. But now did you see the moment I have taken the sample from here, my carbon has increased to from 4% to 10%. What does it is telling me? That I am now taking out the O2 from the tank, but I am feeding in carbon dioxide. Remove one problem and creating another one. So our uh, temperature here is minus 32, hmm? dew point temperature, which is very good. Uh, earlier on, we had to have minus 26, but now minus 32. Uh, we want to take it to a very low level. Now, I want to go to the next stage of inerting. Once we will complete the inerting of the tank, what we will do is we will inert all these lines, every section of it. We may have to remove the blanks from here. Hmm? Uh, it is very easy to remove the blank. We have removed the blank from the line and now we will uh, connect the line uh, and from the IJ and we will keep on purging out the lines with the uh, <coughs> uh, with the inner gas. There is also another option folks. Lines does not take lot of volume. The lines does not have lot of volume. If our inner gas generator is capable enough, then why to put an IG in the line because IG is bringing the carbon dioxide. So why to bring the carbon dioxide into tank? Why not connect this line here, the nitrogen line, and fill all the lines with nitrogen, which is also an inert gas, which will act as inert gas. It will have no CO2 problem. Mm. This is one point uh, as a fruit for thought. So once we are doing it, the inerting, uh, whichever way we were using the inert gas or nitrogen, we will inert every single thing in the machinery room. The inert gas will go in every single section, even in the vaporizer, everywhere the inert gas need to travel from every single point. This is where the companies make the plans for inerting and you as an operator should also make your own plan. Mm -hmm. So very simply you can, you have already connected this area, you can connect uh, this line here, let it go from here, connect it from here and throw the things out or purge out the oxygen. Uh, and then fill it all with inert gas, any of the inert gas. So folks, I think you have got uh, the very clear idea of what is uh, required for inerting the tanks, how the tanks are inerted, how the, uh, how the, the tanks um, how the lines are inerted, how we make it safe. Our objective of inerting it is to remove the oxygen from the tank so our environment at no stage will ever go in the explosive range where there is a possibility of explosion or burning. So um, before introducing any sort of hydrocarbon in the system we need we need very clearly to remove all the hydrocarbons uh, all the oxygen first 
replace it with the inert gas inert gas need to be replaced with the hydrocarbon gas at the ambient temperature so our next stage is the uh, filling or replacing inert gas with the uh, <coughs> with the ox uh, with the hydrocarbon gas so we will keep on monitoring by our portable gas detectors different places uh, that what is the level how is our um, system going on are we getting the right results inerting is one of a very detailed operation where you will spend time uh, but it is all about safety uh, you will have to do the sniffing uh, of you know oxygen technically on every single point and you will have to make sure that in the whole cargo system wherever you expect your hydrocarbon to go there is no oxygen so that will creating the buffer uh, in our next stage technically what we are trying to, we will try to do is to remove the all the inert gas with the hydrocarbon gas at the ambient temperature we called that process the gassing up process so in our next session we will talk about the gassing up process so folks uh, those who are of you who are here can you continue uh, your exercise and uh, those of us who are our virtual learners can you please uh, 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 i'll say um, bye to you and uh, we'll cut off uh, uh, this thing and we'll continue with you tomorrow and our uh, physical learner here will conclude this exercise here thank you very much